<laughs> All right, welcome back to Technique Quad. Uh, we are here today at Deuce Gym. Our, our buddy Logan over there let us come film in this awesome outdoor environment. Uh, we're talking with Corey Gregory, the president of Muscle Farm, and he's going to share with us his, the different deadlift variations that he's been using in his train to get his deadlift up to 575 pounds. All right, so like I said, uh, Corey has been squatting heavy uh, every single day for almost 500 days in a row, and you're on day 477? 70. 470. <laughs> 30 days to go. He's got about a month left. <laughs> yep. And uh, along with squatting heavy every single day, um, he deadlifts heavy twice a week. And so we actually did another technique water where we showed all the different uh, squatting variations that Corey incorporates into his training. That way he's not doing the exact same squat every single day. And with this episode, we're going to do where uh, we're showing all the deadlift variations that he incorporates into his training twice a week. Okay. Uh, so Corey, uh, what are the different variations that you like to do when deadlift? So the big thing about when I started the squat every day is that my conventional was pretty weak. Mm. And so weak meaning like just over 400 pounds. And what I want to do is really work on my conventional. One thing I ran into and we talked about last time is pulling in Olympic shoes. Mm. So I pulled in Olympic shoes, that's one of my variations with a close stance. Mm. Um, you can go in no belt or a belted max, which does make quite a big difference in deadlift. Mm. You can go a flat soled shoe for a sumo deadlift, which I compete that way. I pulled 575 at 198. Um, and you you can also pull off blocks or the opposite of standing on a plate at a deficit to create more leg drive. Mm. And so really, I'm going, I might, might be only pulling five or six singles to a max effort twice a week. So, and sometimes I go through bands, sometimes I use chains, and really there's almost as many variations of deadlift as there is to the squat. So you have no reason to be bored. Mm. And if you continually can beat your old maxes, you're just gonna keep getting stronger, which has happened to me. It's been great. All right, so you said you said you could change your footwear, you could change your stance, how wide your feet are. You said you could add chains or bands. Um, belt or no belt. Belt or no belt. So we got all kinds of options. We're going to run through a few of those right now just so people can see exactly what those options look like. Absolutely. Cool. All right, so here's one of Corey's favorite variations. He's doing a wide stance sumo, sumo. in regular shoes, no belt. Beautiful. Good. On to Good. deficits. All right, or he could also do a close stance deficit pull where he's standing on a 25 pound plate. This is more of a conventional pull, obviously, as opposed to a sumo like we just saw. Beautiful. All right, another variation, he could do the opposite. Instead of standing on a plate, he could actually elevate the bar and do kind of a, a rack pull or just pulling from blocks. And again, this time he happens to be wearing weightlifting shoes, no belts. Again, you could change the footwear or add a belt. All right, or another way you can do it, and Chris is going to steal Corey's spotlight here, is to you know, add a bunch of chain to the middle of the bar. That way you get that accommodating resistance and it gets heavier as you pull all the way to the top. Go. Thanks, dude. Another variation, again, he can have his Olympic shoes on, just regular pull, conventional from the floor. Uh, this time he's wearing a belt. So a subtle variation just by having a belt. You're so buried, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Another variation, if you have a platform that uh, has the ability to strap bands down to it, you can take some reds and double them up uh, to get a heavy band pull. Those bands don't look like much, but they're kicking hard at the top. Oh, they're kicking hard at the top. <laughs> All right, one more variation you can do is you can hang bands from above, doing a reverse band pull where the band's giving you some tension at the bottom, and then as he picks it up, you know, more and more of the weight on the bar ends up in his hands because the band tension isn't helping him out anymore. So in this case, he's pulling sumo with, with reverse bands. Regular shoes, no belt. Beautiful. All right, so we have all these different variations. We got reverse bands, we got bands, we got our stance width for whether you're doing sumos or regular pulls. You don't have to even have the same stance for each and every sumo you do. You can be super wide on one and then you know, bring your feet in six inches and then six inches more and it can still be a sumo with just a subtle variation. We have a belt, no, no belt. belt. We, had, we had rack pulls versus deficit pulls. Yep. And then all the different combinations therein, you could be doing, you could be doing a rack pull with reverse band with weightlifting shoes on and no belt. 
once you piece all those things together, you have hundreds of different variations that you could possibly do as far as uh, your deadlift options. So you never have to do the same deadlift over and over and over again. Uh, and Corey certainly doesn't, and he's had awesome results because of that deadlifting uh, close, to, close to 600 pounds now. Yeah, 575. I'd, I'd imagine you're chasing that 600. Oh, I'm going to pull triple body weight just a matter of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not many people do, so that's pretty cool. So uh, if you would, would like more videos like this, you can always go to barberslug.com, uh, click on the Technique Watt tab at the top of the page, and we have more videos like this in the library. If you want to follow Corey, you can follow him on Instagram at Muscle Farm Prez. Prez. Yep. Appreciate you being on the show, man. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. Join the conversation every week after the episode over at barbellshrugged.com. This is also where you'll find new episodes of Barbell Shrugged, Technique Wad, Nuggets and Pearls, Barbell Business, Get Change, plus new articles every day on our daily blog, written by us, guests of the show, and some of the biggest names in strength and conditioning. So go there and leave a comment now. Oh my gosh, wow, that's so cool. Yay, that's so awesome. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends. And if you want even more free, awesome resources to help you reach your fitness goals, plus some updates that we only share over email, head over to barbellshrug.com and sign up for the newsletter.